kids and their grandkids. Here, here. The Honourable Member for Thornhill. Mr. Speaker, housing in the GTA is scarce and expensive, and it's getting worse. Home prices have doubled under this government, and Canada still has the fewest homes per capita of any G7 country. This government will muse about their so-called plans to fund affordable housing just to have their new NDP dance partners at every level of government uh, oppose actual development. When will the Prime Minister tell Canadians why he thinks only those with the trust fund deserve to the dream of home ownership. The right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the previous Conservative government for 10 years withdrew the federal government's engagement in housing and therefore, uh, unfortunately, we had to pick up an awful lot of stack, a slack since 2015. With the national housing strategy in 2017... Order. Let's, let's, hear, let's hear the answers, please. The Honourable Prime Minister, you can start again. Uh, Mr. Speaker, after 10 years of Conservatives choosing to underinvest in housing, uh, for the past seven years, we've been making up the slack by investing in communities, by investing in a national housing strategy worth around $72 billion now, and continuing to move forward to support people uh, in the GTA and indeed across the country be able to afford their homes, afford their rents, uh, and move forward in a response. Way. That's what we've been focused on. That's what we will continue to do, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Thornhill. Speaker, more spending doesn't equal results. Exactly. It equals more inflation, and Canadians can't afford a home. Canada's fiscal house is on fire, and the NDP are pushing the Liberals to throw $1.68 gasoline on it. Canadians know one thing about the upcoming budget. It's going to be expensive. So will the Prime Minister have the courage to tell Canadians that he couldn't get the trust of the majority of voters, so he decided to spend taxpayer money and buy his majority oh, here. Yeah. The right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, the member opposite wants to talk about results. Our investments in housing across this country have helped over 2 million, uh, 2 million families get the housing they need, supported the creation and repair of over 440,000 homes. I've invested to increase rental units by over 71,000. But yes, Mr. Speaker, we know there's more to do, which is why we won't be listening to Conservative politicians when they tell us to cut supports to Canadians. And instead, we're going to continue to invest invest responsibly in families to help them build a better future for themselves and future generations.